Hey hey, hello everyone. This is Kevin here. So today I'm going to talk about this project called Ideal Sukumvit Rama 4. So this is a uh, property that is under development uh, by Ananda. And um, we actually visited the site um, in our previous property tour as well. So I'm just going to share with you more about uh, where exactly this development is located, uh, what does it has around the area, and then we'll probably touch a bit on the floor plans, the price, and um, uh, maybe I'll just share a bit more about uh, whether is this a good investment or not. Well, so um, well, let's just get started. Some basic information. Um, the nearest landmark of interest would be uh, BTS Prakanon. So uh, it's about, according, you know, as per this slide, it's about 350 meters. Um, it's definitely walkable. I think we, myself, I took about a five to six minutes walk uh, from BTS Prakanon to the actual site itself. So uh, if you're not too familiar with uh, BTS Prakanon, it's actually right smack in between uh, Onut Station and Akamai. So you're kind of still within the uh, Tonglo Akamai area, you know, because it's like just one, two BTS stations away. Uh, but the reason why the name is such like Sukhumvit Dash Rama 4, because this development is not exactly on Sukhumvit Road, which is actually the most popular uh, road that people would love to stay because it's where you get most of the shopping areas or the shops and amenities uh, but it's actually more on Rama 4 the address Rama 4 is a uh, another major road that runs parallel to Tsukumvit road um, previously about two and a half years ago we actually launched a project from Sansiri called Oka house which is also along Rama 4 so I'll just show you the map later uh, later on, right? Um, the biggest difference between Sukhumvit and Rama 4 is the fact that Sukhumvit actually has a BTS line that service the stretch of Sukhumvit Road, whereas Rama 4 for now uh, is only accessible by uh, public, tra uh, public transport or, or, or cars and motorbikes. So this is a quick overview of uh, what's around the area. So you can see that um, uh, the selling point, of course, would be to show you that it's actually only a short walk to Prakanon Station. And from there, you can actually go to places like uh, Onut, which you have the Century Movie Plaza. Um, and then uh, you can go to uh, End Quartier, which is only about three stations away. You know, so, so with, uh, the, with the ability to walk to the BTS station, and from there, you actually get uh, easy accessibility. Um, but what's interesting also, uh, if I just zoom in here, uh, Prakanon itself has a uh, community mall by the name of Summer Hill. It's not a large one, but it does have basic things like uh, Starbucks, and then uh, I think there's a, I think there's a top supermarket there, and, and some um, some eateries. Right? And um, another interesting thing is uh, if you just travel down Rama Four Road uh, in twenty minutes. Also, you actually meet with this major mega uh, integrated project called One Bangkok, which is uh, under construction. If you if you have the chance to drive past uh, that area now, you will see that uh, it's all being hauled up, and there's a massive construction that's taking place. Right. So uh, this is another place that you can uh, take note of is this uh, Bai Tech Patna Station. Uh, which is at Bana Station. Bytech is actually a, a kind of like a great A office space. And then of course, uh, over at Punawiti, you have your uh, wisdom, and then you have uh, where you have the tech hub, uh, Google, Huawei are there, right? And from Rama 4, um, straight down s towards the left, you actually head towards the actual CBD of Silom Saturn as well. So in a nutshell, this is the location of what's around, right? So this, uh, I'll just skip through this very quickly. Okay, so as mentioned, Prakanon uh, is actually between Akamai and Onut. So I 
would consider them to be uh, within the same kind of vicinity. Just that um, most of the time we do not talk about Prokhanon much. Uh, I think mainly two reasons. Number one is the fact that there isn't too many developments launched uh, recently over there as well. And also because um, in terms of uh, amenities and lifestyle, it is uh, lacking compared to Akamai and Onut. So that is also perhaps one of the reasons why uh, it can fall under the radar a bit. Right. Um, okay, so this is a map of the BTS station. Uh, so you can see that over at Summer Hill, there's a top supermarket. It's actually the moment you come down from the BTS station, you will see the Summer Hill Mall. And then um, if you walk through the behind of the mall, uh, in another five minutes, you actually reach um, the actual site of Ideo Sokovit Rama 4. Gateway Akamai is over at Akamai Station. Okay, uh, this is, um, I actually saw this complex, Naipa Art Complex, but I haven't had the chance to really go inside. Uh, from, but from outside, it actually looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of like um, open spaces, bridges, and then there's a lot of green space. Then upon researching this project, I realized that hey, it's actually an art complex. Um, if you actually walk um, from the BTS to the actual site you, uh, via a shortcut, it, you, you actually pass by this art complex as well. It's uh, quite a big piece of land, so you will not miss it as well. Okay, so Rama 4, as I said, is one of the main roads. Uh, it's actually this uh, part that is covered in orange. You can see that it actually runs parallel to the Sukhumvit Road, which is in green. Uh, interconnected with uh, via some of the soils, some are dead ends, uh, whereas some of the soils, quite a number of them actually link uh, the uh, Sukhumvit Road to Rama 4 Road. Like for example, Soil 36, which uh, where Oka House is. Alright, um, so I think this slide is quite important. Um, I think when we were um, showing investors about Oka House also this uh, slide already came out quite some time ago uh, this is a pictorial representation of the existing offices in Rama 4 so the blue ones are the ones that are already completed they are actually um, operating and then they're just give, giving you a, a new numerical representation of how many how many workers are actually working in the offices majority of these are uh, Thai MNCs and they do hire quite a number of uh, Thai white collars as well so um, this will be a potential catchment area for tenants and then of course you can see the one in red which is one Bangkok and the TCC mega project uh, that's a these two are major uh, infrastructure projects coming on and you can see that you add a lot more uh, job demands in that area so Hopefully, with the construction of these two projects, it will bring up the vibrancy and importance of Rama 4 as a road as well. Alright, so a bit of information of One Bangkok. Uh, I think you can probably find out a lot more of it online. <clears throat> you can actually visit their actual uh, website to see uh, what exactly they're doing. So there will be hotels, create offices. Uh, I think there will be residential, high-end residential as well, and then retail more. Okay, FYI center, that's like uh, office, right, for media-related stuff. It's already completed. Okay, the park opening in 2020, that's another office space. Oh, and uh, there's this Thai television channel 3 uh, building right next to ESO also and then across the road there's uh, another community mall called Swan Plan, uh, Market that's where when we were marketing Oka House uh, Oka House is actually within walking distance of um, these few buildings okay and then you have private schools Bangkok universities I'll show you on the map later let me just quickly run through the slides Okay, this is a private hospital that's uh, nearby. So there, there's actually two uh, not notable hospitals around. One is this, and the other one is Sukhumvit Hospital. 
okay uh then you also have your big c tesco it's actually quite well stocked by with amenities uh either along ramapho road or if not you can actually go to the bts uh take one station down to on you actually have a giant tesco that that is connected to the bts station so it's actually pretty convenient Okay, uh, some basic information of the development, Ideal Sokumvit Rama 4. Uh, it's a single residential tower, 32 floors, total 642 units. There's going to be three shop lots below. Mm, probably you'll have like maybe one Seven Eleven or two other convenience stores. Car park lot at 56%. Um, that's about average, right? Uh, in Thailand, you most of the time you do not get one to one uh car park for ownership it will be on a first come first serve basis um then you have uh let's see what else yeah the completion date will be in 2022 so that's like another two years from now uh for now sinking fund 500 baht per square meter common area fee 55 baht per square meter um pretty average amount uh, unit types studios at about 30 square meters one bed 35 to 44 square meters and then two bedroom 66 to 74 square meters penthouse 89 to 135 square meters um, the units are pretty good size I would say um, I think they'll probably be expecting maybe a number of locals to be buying for their own use so that's why uh, in this case, you get like um, one bedroom that starts from about 35 square meters. If not, sometimes nowadays, if the developer is purely trying to sell uh, development to overseas investors, they will try to downsize the unit as much as they can. That would make the quantum more manageable. But in this case, I think um, they did take into account functionality and usability as well. So you can see from here also, uh, ground floor will be the shop, office, and then parking up to 5th floor, swimming pool on the 6th floor, uh, sky lounge on the top, which is quite common, and then from between 7 to 31st, that will be your whole slab of residential units. Here's some information on Ananda. Um, again, I think this uh, information that you can find on online. Uh, one of the reason why we talk about Ananda projects also because it's one of the more uh, well-known developers in Thailand and they do have a good track record of developing many many developments but maybe I can point you to this brand this is pretty interesting uh, sometimes people do get a bit confused it's like um, how come you got like ideal mobi ideal mix it's just a different naming convention for different categories of condos so you can see that this ideal Sukhumvit Rama for uh, belongs to mid range um, in terms of their own categorization, with uh, Ashton being the <coughs> highest grade. Uh, they have ideal Q Chilom, so that's on the high end side. So uh, I would say ideal would be um, you will consider it as an entry point for investment. Uh, sometimes they might sell. Elio and Unio brand overseas but I would suggest that you avoid them uh, reason being because uh, these brands are actually kind of like mass market it's not really meant as investment properties and most of the time the location are a bit further off the quality is not as good it's actually meant for the locals to buy as a form of cheap housing alright so okay um, this is uh, a map showing you exactly where the actual site is right now um, I think it's already hoarded up right then the show flag is also on the actual site you can see here from the Google map so um, the dotted part that you can see is actually the route that I took when I walked to the actual site that's like a small road that's right behind Summer Hill Mall so from here, uh, you can see this green area. That's actually the art complex that I mentioned about. So you'll pass by the entrance. And then um, halfway through, you will turn right when you hit Rama 4 Road. That is the main Rama 4 Road. 
and then you will actually go to the actual site which is here okay so I will go to my map and then show you um, okay so this is the station all right and you can see here marked out summer hill shopping mall so the easy way to walk there is to walk along this road called Sukhumvit 46 okay which is a single lane pretty quiet uh, it's actually lined on both sides by landed houses so it's actually quite serene then once you hit the main road which is Rama 4 you will turn right then um, the landmark for now right if you keep walking you will see this very big uh, tire shop car repair place called cockpit it's actually yellow in signboard uh, signage so you can't miss it so once you see here then you can see here right now as per google map this is like uh, open car park or something like that that, that will be where the actual site is so you can see that the the land point is actually l-shaped along the way uh, these are old shop houses um, I remember selling some hardware, selling some um, metal stuff for uh, FMB. Generally, the entire Rama Fall Road is not as developed as Sukhumvit. So, if you walk about along Sukhumvit Road, you you will see like uh, massages, you will see Seven Elevens, um, you will see a lot of uh, uh, cafes and so and so forth. Uh, but Rama Fall is not. Uh, but Surely and slowly, Rama Hall is actually transforming. Uh, one of the main reasons is because developers are finding land prices in Sukhumvit uh, very exorbitant, and sometimes it's really not that easy to find um, land plots to buy on Sukhumvit Road anymore. So uh, that's why some developers in recent years have turned to uh, Rama Four, and then uh, hopefully, you know, as this trend continues. Um, then you will probably see more development coming uh, along the way right, you can see that actually we are at the tail end of Rama 4 this is where if you go down the road Rama 4 actually join up with uh, Sokofin Road Rama 4 is actually a very very long stretch of road you can see from here okay so uh, I would divide Rama 4 into three portions uh, mainly the lower part of Rama 4 the middle part of Rama 4 and then the upper end of Rama 4 which is where uh, ideal Sukhumvit Rama 4 is the lower end of Rama 4 is actually the more expensive part if you ask me right? uh, because towards here that's where you, you actually hit the blue MRT line and then uh, you, you actually go to Lumpini so if, if you go further down you can see here I'm already at Silom and Saladeng so that also means that uh, if someone was to work around here and then um, they are looking for rental that are a bit more affordable they would probably consider uh, developments along the Rama 4 stretch All right so you have your Lumpini Park which is like a central park in New York and if you see look at this empty uh, construction site you zoom in, it's actually tagged as one Bangkok. So it's actually still ongoing. So this is the lower part of Rama 4. And then we come to the middle part of Rama 4. Middle part of Rama 4 would be somewhere where uh, the just now I mentioned there's this channel tree tower. Okay, actually the middle part of Rama 4 is where you have the highest concentration of office towers for now. Because this area actually kind of got more developed. So you can see you have the uh, ESO of Thailand HQ over here uh, there's a Melanon Tower there's an office building right next to it is the uh, DB3 Tower and then right across a road this is quite newly open about one year max that's the Swamplan Market which is like a community mall so there's a supermarket inside there's a food court uh, quite a lot of stuff um, then you have like gym and so on I think Summer Hill also have a 24 hour gym so this area is also quite developed so if you want to talk about competitors for Sukhumvit Rama 4 uh, ideal Sukhumvit Rama 4 I would say that the closest competitor in terms of new launch 
would be Oka House, which is uh, located somewhere here. You can see here is Tech Local Oka House. Okay, uh, the project, I think there's still some one bedrooms left. Uh, the two bedrooms are fully sold. Uh, it's actually by Sensiri. Uh, it's under the house series. Um, and they uh, give a very uh, grand luxury finishing for Oka House. So most of the clients that I went with who visited the sales gallery were very, very impressed by the finishing that they provide. Um, if you want to find out more, you can actually go to our website, investbankrockproperty.com, uh, search for Oka House, and you can see that there's quite a number of videos that we did uh, for the sales gallery. Right? So that's where Oka House is. That along the road, there isn't really much things happening. It's a, still a lot of old landowners uh, holding on to their shop houses. Maybe time will change. And then... Um, and then once you go to the tail end part, that's where you have now your ideal Sukhumvit Rama for. Alright, um, let's see what else I can show you. Uh, so this is the train station. Uh, so you can go down to Onut or go up to Akamai. Alright, um. Yep, I think that's about it, all right? So just somehow, if they were mentioning about all the Tesco, Lo uh, Tesco, Lotus, Big C, they are all around here, actually in the middle part of Sukhumvit. Okay, so you can see that some of the roads actually connect to to the main Sukhumvit road. Like um, say, let me go back to Oka House. So it is Oka House. So along this road, this is Soy Thirty Six. So you can see that if I just run along, I will go to Noble Remix, which is right next to Tonglaw Station. So some of the roads are actually connected, but some of the roads are one way, some of the roads are du dual way, so you have to be mindful of that. Alright, so let me go back to my slides. Okay, so this is a quick overview surrounding, uh, there's some schools around, so you may be able to rent to the students as well. Uh, maybe hospital staff. The good thing is the fact of once a condo is actually walking distance to the BTS station and it's uh, new enough, right? You definitely get people asking uh, for it. Especially this is still considered, I would say, effectively, you're still considered along the green BTS line. Okay, so just some photos of the greens spaces that they have there's a lab pool there's even a waterfall there's an urban waterfall that they built inside the courtyard right nowadays uh, developers cannot just build um, a, a rectangular block of condo and expect to sell because the buyers are a lot more discerning so you need to throw in a lot of uh, advanced facilities features a lot of uh, open common spaces for people to hang out. So this is a waterfall, a uh, pictorial representation of the waterfall. 24 hours gym. How the lobby should look like. There's a sky lounge as well. Uh, the color is generally in dark brown and gold when I visited the show flag. Right, let's just run through the floor plan uh, pretty quickly. So if you guys want to have a copy of this, you can get in touch with us so they can study the floor plan in detail. So there's meeting room and all stuff. Right, so you can see that it's actually one single tower, it's in L shape. Uh, again, this somehow reminds me of Oka House because it's kind of L shape also. Um, the corner ones are the big units, so you can see the C65 square meter. These are the two bedrooms, so you can come in uh, via the living hall and then you have your rooms on both sides. Um, the A types are the studios, 29.5 square meters, so uh, nothing too complicated, it's just a single rectangular unit that you come in, so it's pretty much all mirror images. The B types are the one bedroom, so you have a proper one bedroom and you have your studios, so it's a slightly larger, about 45 square meters. 
quite typical of uh, most how uh, general condo in Thailand layout would be. The corners are usually the very big units, which are the two bedrooms, and then uh, in between are the so called the individual units. Um, of course, ideally, if you can, I think. Uh, try to avoid the units that are nearer to the center but that will also mean that uh, most of the time the pricing for these units will be the lowest for every floor uh, if you take the higher floors if you go along the north side then you will see all the way to Tong Lo side uh, if, you, if you face the south you'll probably see the river I think I have some uh, drone shots of the uh, location I'll show it to you now. All right, so let's see um, view drone videos. All right, so okay. So this is the east. So the road that you can see on the foreground that's Rama Four Road, and on the left you can see that the covered station that's Prakanon Station. So that's uh, where the Rama Four Road ends and join with Sukhumvit Road. So that's towards the east direction. Okay, uh, north. There are no tall buildings around you that are very, very near. So generally, you're quite safe, you're pretty unblocked on all sides. Okay, uh, south. Okay, if you want the waterway view, uh, then you should take the south. You can see far on the right hand side horizon, you can see some waterway. That's the river. Um, because that's the where the port is. There are talks of uh, the government looking to move the ports away so that they can develop the river bank, but. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, so um, just bear that in mind. But if it doesn't happen, um, don't be surprised also, because it's a pretty massive project to move a port. Okay, and last but not least, west side. Okay, but west, um, you have the sun, of course, you have the afternoon sun, but if you want to look towards the, uh, the main city skyline, look towards the CBD, then you have to take the west facing. So that's Rama 4 Road right in front. You can see that it's actually a three-lane road on both sides. So total six-lane six carriageway. Uh, it can get pretty busy during uh, peak hours. I think the west view is actually pretty nice also. Okay, so that's the uh, north, south, east, west uh, view of the place. I'll just go back to my slides. Okay, show unit. Um, I think it would be better if you look at our uh, YouTube videos of the actual show unit. So these are just pictures. So you can see here, studio, one bedroom plus. Oh, but but they do give uh, very nice uh, fittings. Some of the stuff are actually built in. Like for example, this shoe cabinet. Uh, I think one of the videos I actually pull out the shoe cabinet. It's, it's actually provided as well. It's really nice. And then all the uh, kitchen cabinet, the top hung kitchen cabinets, there's this hydraulic pulley system for you to um, get your stuff more easily for the shorter people. Two bedrooms. So there's the color scheme that they have. Uh, quite hotel like. So it's like dark, uh, brown, earth colors. The payment procedure is also quite friendly. Uh, most of the time, I'm familiar with uh, projects that are paying, asking you to pay up from about 25% and then um, the other 75% upon completion. For this one, booking fee 100,000 baht. First payment is only 10%, all right, from uh, two weeks from the day of booking. And then by uh, maybe in another one or two months' time, which is uh, next month, it's already March 2020. Uh, that will be another 10%. And then, uh, 
when you complete in 2022, that's where you have to come up with the final 80%. So I think the payment plan is one of the more friendly ones that I've ever seen. Okay, so how much can it rent for? I think that's probably another question that people ask because I presume that uh, most of the people looking at these videos are investors. You can get a bit of guidance from the existing projects around at the moment. So uh, if I pinch back to this map, Prakanon, you will see that uh, I think some of the noticeable projects, I there's a few, but I probably can't go through all of them. Let's just go through the noticeable one. I have, uh, you can con you can look at this condo live at Sukhumvit. Right, that's one. Um, the line Sukhumvit 71 by Sensiwi, that's another one. And then also the room Sukhumvit 69. I think the, uh, uh, we can start from the one that's nearest to the station, which is the room Sukhumvit 69. So, uh, just a quick one. So, I just want to show you that it is actually the nearest condo to the station. All right. The room is a project by Land and House. Uh, and uh, usually for the room, they actually give a uh, very good uh, finishing as well. Most of the time, uh, the ones that I've seen are all uh, very well built. So, this is about three minutes walk only. So I would say that uh, in all honesty, if someone were to consider staying around this area, uh, budget not an issue, they'll probably check out this project first and foremost. So how do we know what is the rent around the area? So I can go to Safari. So you can go to this website called ddproperty.com. Uh, I think Daryl has mentioned a few times. Uh, you will see that this is one of the top portals for uh, listing, resale and rental. So you see agents, corporate accounts are actually by agencies. And then sometimes you might get individual owners as well. So I did a search room 69 for rent, any price, all right. Uh, so this project is completed in 2014, 375 units. Um, so I'll just run through the list, all right. Uh, maybe we can just look at the one bedroom or studio. Okay. Uh, right. So their one bedroom is about forty five square meters. So it's quite similar to the ones being offered by uh Ideal Sukhoi Rama four. So asking average of thirty thousand. This is the same unit. Thirty thousand, twenty nine thousand, twenty seven, thirty. If you give it a bit of room for negotiation then um, maybe you can knock off about 10 to 15 percent depending okay so uh, that's, that's a low baller 22 23 All right sometimes you have to take this kind of listing with a pinch of salt I would I would just take the average uh, it, it's just doing a market survey you know um, you don't have to like consider every single one to the to the exact last cent sometimes uh because over in thailand unlike singapore they do not have a regulatory body uh you are free to actually post any numbers you want so sometimes some people actually use this marketing tactic posting a lower value getting people to call them and then you know the moment you call they'll tell you that um you need no more uh i have another one that's thirty thousand. do you want it so look at the average, I would say. So I think 28, 30,000 is about fair. Uh, there's this one guy who is asking 35. Maybe if you give, provide special amenities, like maybe free Wi-Fi, or maybe you run it like a service apartment, perhaps you can justify the higher price. If not, then you can see that majority of the asking prices hovers between 25 to 30,000. So that's for the room 69, a project that is completed in 2014, six years old condo, uh, but it's only three minutes walk to the uh, BTS station, All right? So let me go back to the map. OK, 
okay um, let's just check out the other one called the line 71 okay this is uh, because it's actually one of the more higher end condo for Sun series the line series unfortunately this line is actually not next to the BTS station it's actually the line is actually um, caught the line because it's supposed to be near to the BTS station right, uh, but anyway so let me see uh, the line COVID 71 it's an 8 minutes walk 600 meters so this compared to ideal Sokovic round for this is slightly further away okay actually twice as far because 600 meters versus 350 meters but nevertheless let's just go back to DD property and let's do a quick search for the line 71 and see what kind of rent they are asking in that area for this project the line 71 okay we have it okay corner for condo for rent corner unit one bedroom seems like the size over here are quite uniform in about 45 square meters 30,000 31,000 okay uh, this project is slightly newer completed in 2016 okay okay here's a low baller 19,000 um, okay but it's also smaller so maybe that's why 30, 30 square meters so you can compare this with the studio of uh, the ideal Sukhumit Rama 4 if you are if you are buying the studio 33 square meters 22,000 okay 42 square meters 30,000 seems to be quite in line with the one that we saw just now which is the room 69 uh, probably offhand one explanation that I can think of is uh, because it's slightly newer and then I suspect that maybe for this development they have a bit more um, facilities and amenities compared to the room uh, the sensory people are pretty creative so they actually do have some uh, good concept when it comes to doing uh, the common spaces I know some of the projects they even put BMW electric cars there for car sharing uh, and recently the new one ones like Taka House you have your virtual reality cycling machine simulator or something like that uh, so um, yeah your tenants will love this right so uh, okay so I, I think we have a good idea so the over here one bedroom is about 25 30,000 if you're looking at the studio you'll probably be renting about 19 to 22,000 okay let's just see one more one last one just for comparison sake I saw this one condo life at Sukhumvit so let's just see condo life eh sorry condo life at Sukhumvit 400 meters so this is the distance is somewhat the same as uh, the ideal Soviet Rama 4 350 meters 400 meters 5 minutes so it's about in the middle okay so let's just go back to DD property and see what are the people listing that condo for condo life Okay, uh, life as so seems like the name is not correct. Hmm, can't seem to find. Let's see. another name condo life at sukhumvit 65 
Okay, I believe this is the one condo life at Sukumi 65. One bedroom, 43 square meters, $22,000 per month. Uh, 22,000 Thai baht, sorry. One bedroom, 43 square meters, 20,000. Okay, it seems like this one, for some reasons, the asking price are lower than la uh, the line and the room. 18,000. Um, 42 square meters. Okay, this is not. Okay, this is the one. 43 square meters. Okay, for some reason, this is uh, similar size. Wise instead of thirty thousand, people are asking about twenty. All right, so you can see here, most of it forty three square meters are at twenty thousand. Right, I believe uh, the reason is because uh, for condo life is more like a mass market condo. So um, I would say that in terms of the uh, quality of the interior is, you cannot really compare it to the line and the room so that is probably the reason why okay Uh, and this was built in 2009 so it's actually older than the other two as well so that probably explains why even for the same size uh, it is at a 33% discount of the lease price of the other two condos Okay, so the newer ones does have an advantage, right? Uh, tenant will want to move to newer condos with better facilities always. Uh, but of course, for someone who do not have that kind of budget and then uh, they want to have uh, a space as well, then they can probably move to condo life as a sixty-five, right? Where instead of thirty thousand, you only pay twenty thousand for that condo. Um, yeah, I was I was saying uh, it really does make a difference uh, the quality of the condos when it comes to different grades. Mm, it's like the very good ones, like say the line. Yeah, you actually get very good facilities. Uh, you get the the um, the finishing of the of the interior is actually uh, looks quality and luxurious. Uh, whereas if you go to like maybe live series or what. I do have like sometimes friends telling me that um, you can be staying at the unit that is at the end when the lift opens someone walks along the corridor you can actually hear them walking through because they actually use thinner fabricated walls etc etc these are just some examples uh, you it, it's hard for me to just tell you over like a video like this but if you ever have the chance to really visit Bangkok on a property tour with us and then when we are able to show you the different quality of uh, why you know in the same area two condos side by side one can be a lot more expensive than the other then you understand that actually quality does make a difference okay so uh going back here right um okay i want to show you that if you want to know exactly how the show flats looks like and you do not have the chance to visit Ideal to read Rama for you can come to our website investbankcompany.com. Uh, use the search bar at the top right hand corner. Do a keyword search. You will find this project page, and then you will see here that uh, you see there's this video where um, we walked from the station to the project. All right, so that's Sean, our colleague who stays in Bangkok on a permanent basis. So for our clients who uh, bought from us, once the project completes and they require uh, follow-up service in terms of property management, Sean is the one who handles all these uh, after-sales services. So this is the, uh, so come out of the station, so that's the, uh, then you can see here Summer Hill, right? So that's the more, a bit of open concept. 
a rhythm, there's another condo that's next to the station. So, um, okay, I shall not bore you with the entire video, but uh, you can, if you are really interested to know exactly how it's a walk from the station there, then you can see that, you know, she's actually walking along Soy 46 to the main road, to the main road on uh, Rama 4 Road. So you can see here, these are some of the old shop houses, and then, and then uh, you see the whole video is about six minutes minus off uh, her initial talking so that's about five minutes walk so you see that's cockpit the uh the car tire shop and that's the uh, actual site you see the whole thing all right so that's the video okay that's what we do when we go bangkok we actually walk the actual site and then uh really you know understand for ourselves whether this project is something that's worth considering um and then once you're inside the show flat you, we actually have a walk through this the uh, this is the studio Color scheme are pretty neutral. Most people will actually like it. Ah, you can see here, you can see just the part that's built in that's given. So we can pull out the. All this built in is included. True, right? It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the studio unit. Uh, and then you have your two bedroom, you have your one bedroom plus. And then uh, if you think the video is not good enough, I actually also did 360 walkthrough where I used my 360 camera to uh, visit the exact same show you. So if you are using your phone, you can actually use the phone to just pan around, you know, and it's almost as if you are actually at the actual unit. Okay, so yep that's all so that's it you can actually come to our website to actually see the videos okay so i'm gonna end off uh with uh the most important thing that i haven't touched on which is uh how much is the price of the project of course uh if you are keen to get one and then uh you want to know specifically the price for like some units that we have shortlisted uh do get in touch with us but what i'm about to do here is to give you a price guide um prices right uh this is a price guide price guide uh for ideal so convict rama for okay um generally the per square meter starts from about 150,000 to about 185,000 Thai baht per square meter. Okay, uh, so that works out to for studio. Uh, prices starts from about 4.x million Thai baht. Uh, quite a number of units are in this price range uh, to about 5.x million baht. For the one bedroom, plus which is the uh, about 45 square meter ones uh prices is starting from about 6.x million baht to ranges to about eight i would say seven point something seven point x million baht most of the units are in this price range so uh of course the uh, facing and the and the floor level does makes a difference Right, uh, and the two bedroom um starts from uh, nine point x million thai baht upwards right so uh, that's a price guide for the uh, for the uh, ideal so commit rama 4 so yep so that brings me to the end of this uh, review of the project and if you would like to find out more you can actually visit our website investmentcallproperty.com uh, just leave us your name and contact details and we'll get in touch with you very shortly so I'll sign off here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.